All right, and welcome back to Farmer Fitness Episode 2. It'll be better than Star Wars Episode 2, I promise you, if you're uh, nerdy enough to know how bad that movie is. So uh, I got some constructive criticism and uh, feedback from the last episode, such as, uh, why are you not wearing a shirt? That was gay and uh, kind of queer. So uh, we have some highbrow audience members, so uh, I've uh, tried to help out, and I'm kind of wearing a shirt this time. So um, I hope that helps out. just when people are jealous? Uh, no, 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 no. I, they know what they're talking about. Also, um, I've got some facial hair this time. It's been a long week, so uh, if you can notice, this is what I call a beard. It's the best I can do. And uh, Matt is still on his way, trying to work out the stuff. He's going to do some running after this. And I've also got tickets left for the Randy Laughter Fat Off thing. Uh, Randy's losing some weight. He's lost a lot of weight. He lost like uh, around 150 pounds. One of my clients, in case you didn't know. And we're using this money to do surgery to take the excess skin off because he can't lose any more weight. That's it. That's all we can do. So we got to do this now and get it cut off so we can get that six pack. 450 pounds down to a six pack. If he can do it, anybody can, all right? So let's forget all that. The Ten Commandments of the Six Pack. That's what we're here for, right? Right. Okay, good. Just wanted you to validate that. So here's some things I want to talk about. I got so much stuff to talk about. It hurts my brain to think about it. It hurts your brain to be able to process all I'm going to tell you. So I'm going to make it really concise and brief. Let's talk about the diet stuff, okay? Most of you are not going to do what I tell you to do. It's just how you are. It's just how most people are. And you're not going to get the results. But for that 1% that does this, you're going to see results, all right? You're going to get... You're going to get this right here. It's bad lighting. You can't tell, but oh, you'll get man. it. Now you're going to get some bad comments. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Dang it. Oh, well, anyway. So don't do diets. Don't ever diet. What, what is a diet? You want a six-pack for a week, and then you're just going to be fat again? Like, you got to do something that's consistent that you're going to stay with, all right? So don't do these fad diets. It's always something that's really low in calories and low in carbs, and they're so stupid. Like, uh, do the lunchbox diet. Anything that fits into a lunchbox, you can eat that all day. Okay? So that's your diet. Do the color diet. Okay, you want your reds and oranges during breakfast. Don't eat anything that's not green after 7 o'clock. Do the color diet. Like, there's always something stupid like that, you know? Uh, we're, the Coke diet, the cookie diet. There's a cookie diet? you never heard of the cookie Good diet? Good God, there's anything. There's anything. All right, get a Livestrong account. Why? Because I said so. Why are you questioning me? Do what I say. Get a Livestrong account. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. All right, also, calorie requirements. All right, it's going to take a while to explain calorie requirements, but you got to get the. <coughs> I didn't know if you were trying to publish right there. You got to get your calorie requirements. Here's the thing about calorie requirements you go to cordy.net forward slash calculator. I got us all of this on the blog. You put your information in, it tells you what you got to get. Multiply it by 50%, divide that by 4, that's your carbs. Multiply it by 30%, divide that by 4, that's your protein. Multiply that by 20%, divide that by 9, that's your fat you got to get every day. Sounds a little too complicated and too much, that's okay. Check out the blog. And you want to eat every three hours, all right? Your body needs to be fueled. You're going to go into starvation mode. Which, which number is that? That's, uh, we're on number one, two, three, four. We're on number four. Rule number four, get your, get your food every three hours, all right? You got to do it. It's like a fat-burning furnace, literally, because it burns the food because your protein is very highly thermic, and it burns the calories out of your body. So you got to do that. I don't know if you do that. Um, that's what it does. Also, you want to log in your calories. Now, a lot of people, they say, I don't want to log in my calories. I know what to eat. I eat right. I eat good food. Okay? I eat pretty much what I ate the other day. Listen, I'm in good shape, and I eat pretty much the same thing every day, and I log my calories. And you think you're too good to, eat, to log your calories in? I'll smack you in your face hole. Log your calories in. What are you doing? Are you some New York Italian? What are you smacking in your face what hole? What are you doing, huh? Come on. You think you're better than me? You're not better than me. All right, I'm walking here. All right, taper your calories. That means you eat big in breakfast because you've been starving all night, so eat a big breakfast, and you're going to burn it off the rest of the day. Eat a pretty big lunch, and then uh, eat smaller as the day goes by, smaller meals as the day goes on. You know, eat that old saying, eat like a king for breakfast, eat like a prince for lunch, eat like a pauper for dinner. Huh? How about that? Who says that? I don't know, somebody. Somebody said it one time. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Oh, what, we got to keep on the numbers. We got to get organized here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rule number seven, eat real food, okay? Eat real food, but don't eat the white bread. Eat the wheat bread. You know, don't eat peanut butter. Eat natural peanut butter. Like, don't 
eat this crap. If it doesn't look, you don't think that came out naturally, you probably shouldn't be eating it, all right? It's not good for you. Well, if you want to go that far, wheat bread is also processed as well. Yeah, that's... It's processed, but it's it's less processed. Yeah, there's there's it's the better than you for this, white. Yeah, there's good, there's great, there's bad, there's worse. So pick what's better than your other options. Like you know, brown rice, natural, oatmeal, natural. That's how it comes off the plant. I'm glad I had you here. See, that's why you're the co-host. You help out things like that. I almost missed it. I could have ruined the whole video. I mean, also when I was talking about the calories, I wanted to make this point. Like, um, you got to make sure you're eating enough because it'll mess you up. Like, look at like my nuts for instance. Like, look at my nuts. Um, oh, you can't see them here. Let me look. These nuts right here, right here. If I didn't eat these, I would get fat. I would think it would make me fat because I'd be eating like some nuts. But you know, these actually are good for me because it gives me my fat requirement. All right, I love your cheap humor. <laughs> I'll play, try to play it straight. You just can't give me that look. You got to get all the audience. Some people like this. All right. Uh, I personally hated that joke. I don't know why I did it. Um, don't eat close to bed. This is rule number eight. Number eight. Thou shalt not eat close to bed because you're going to be sleeping all night. You're not going to be burning off calories snoring. You know, you're inactive. So, you know, you don't want to eat that much. You, if you're going to eat, eat a small meal. Try to do two or three hours before you go to bed. But if you have to eat, if you're starving... Get a protein shake or just, you know, some lean protein. Try to stay away from the carbs. Agreed? Well, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with eating close to night as long as it's something good. Oh, if it's protein. Wait, are you going against me in my own video? What's this guy doing? All right, listen. Well, well, hold on a second. Hold on about this. Have a protein shake right before bed? Why is that? Like, well, if you have to. So because I just don't like people doing things like that because they get carried away. So I just... uh. I try to keep them away from stuff. Just like I try to get them to go to bed early just so they stay away from urges. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> don't make me fight you. All right. Rule number nine, plan ahead. All right. I don't want any excuses like, well, I was uh, really busy. I didn't have anything with me. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Put your stuff in a Tupperware. Put your stuff in a Ziploc. You know, eat when you're traveling. You should have stuff prepared. You know, you should know what's the healthy food at a restaurant. You know, cook in bulk. Like, check out my meat. Um, I did it twice. Am I going to do it a third time? Who knows? But look at all this. I cooked all this turkey today, and now I can put it in any time I want. You know, put it in the microwave, and it's good to go, and then I'm all and good. it stinks the house up for hours. Oh my gosh, you're trying to make fun of my humor. <laughs> and it stinks the house up for hours. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I got that food ready. And uh, then whenever I'm hungry, I can pop it in the microwave and I'm good to go. And it's all good in the hood. <laughs> um, rule number that 10, thou shalt, not, thou shalt lift weights. All right, all you people in the treadmill all the time, you lift weights. You got more muscle and then it's burning off stuff all the time. You burn more calories doing nothing than you do with all your exercise because your body processing, doing stuff like constructing new cells, cleansing itself and all that kind of stuff, like that's where you burn most calories, your base metabolic rate. So if you have more muscle, then you would be burning even more. Hmm, interesting, right? Why'd your eyes get really huge? Your <laughs> pupils dilated. That just really blow your mind right there. My gosh. I hope, I hope everybody feels that way about that information. So uh yeah, lift weights. But I don't want to get bulky. You you don't want to get bulk. Oh, look, I lift weights. Like I do everything I can to gain size and I have problems. But don't tell me you gain muscle easy. Please, I've seen you. You don't gain muscle easy, all right? And guess what? If you do gain muscle easy, if you have some sort of genetics like that, you can lose muscle easy. I promise you. Well, okay, day 1. Day 2. Day 3. <sighs> How they do the lifting weights? They think it's like that, that easy. Well, wow! I don't even know why I have a job if they can do it that easy. So uh, those are your uh, ten commandments to follow. This boy right here, he's been lifting weights with me, and he's gonna go do some cardio right now. You did it twice a day, and uh, it's good. And he's, I'm trying to get him to log his calories more. You're gonna do it, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. That really, yes. That really sounds yes. confident. Oh yes, that's even better. This is well, what word? Man. I don't know. It's not the words. The way you say it. Also, remember these tickets right here. I'm going to be doing a guest spot, you know. I'll be uh, doing such material such as uh, 
you know, doing jokes about Arkansas. <laughs> I'll be We're doing talking. jokes about music. <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing some hilarious jokes about different things. You know, I might try to work in something about the food court. Uh, it's great jokes. Erin um, Foley's going to headline. She's uh, a headlining comedian. She's been on Connie Central and all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> I'm really good at introducing people. And uh, I'm sure she likes to introduce. Uh, she won't watch this. And that's about it. So this is Far Fitness Episode 2. Hopefully this is better than Episode 1. And hopefully they keep getting better from that. And we'll add some workout videos in the future. And that's it for tonight. If you got any questions or comments, put them in here. And we might do the next episode about it. Anything else to say? So go to livestrong.com and find the, uh, my plate on there. And log your calories. Um, it's that easy. And there you go. <laughs> I like how you ended everything with it. Is that easy? I thought I had more. <laughs> yeah, I had more. I thought you got sassy. All right, that's the that's the end of the video, and uh, have a good night or day whenever you watch this.